there she is, Robert Docky. Beautiful Swiss flag coming in our direction, man. Cram on Tanya, the new location for Audi 9's 2021, brother. Unfortunately, Lavinio, Italy, the original location of this event. Gosh darn it, that is gorgeous. Man and machine have come together to make art. Dude, not only are the features absolutely massive, like, dude, look at this gigantic step up over, dude, these corridors, but these slits in the landing pad, this gouge up on top here, and all the other visual elements you see in this course definitely extended the time to complete this project, but they are there to simply contribute to achieving one of Audi 9's many goals, and that's just creating a beautiful piece of art out of snow. Something that's gonna make your eyes go for a rip in a creek there, buddy. The tear ducts, they're swollen already. So like I was saying, Lavinio, Italy, the place that has been home to the Audi 9s for the last few years and the original destination for 2021 Audi 9s, no longer able to host the event due to COVID restrictions. Now this was a real kicker for the Audi 9s team because they didn't actually find out about this news until a couple months prior to the start date of this event. That really sucked because on average, it has taken the team five months to put one of these things together. It then took the Audi 9s team four weeks to find a new location location which turned out to be Switzerland but again this really sucked because that means they only had three to four weeks not only to plan this entire event but also to build this this course needless to say times are a little bit stressful but the results buddy they're set first one in the edit Hans Redgear is that that's probably a hundred percent wrong dude I'm gonna butcher a lot of names here but haven't actually seen this guy ski haven't heard of him before so I'm stoked to see what he has Oh, oh, damn. This is a massive Rodeo 9. Oh, okay, watch his hands. So he sets the Rodeo 9, grabs trail and mute there, but then he takes his lead hand and kind of goes for what looks to be a stale, but it's actually not a stale. For it to be a stale, you would have to grab the outside of your tail here, but he's kind of grabbing more of a Japan. So I don't know if you'd call that a Japan stale fish, stale fish Japan. Follows himself up, double cork 1260 there, two flips, three and a half full rotations. Candide, what? Yo, no way, I looked at the participant list. I didn't see him here, man. A big old cork seven blunt over the step up. So big. What? Is that the only, is that the only Candide clip? No. I'd be so sad. I mean, at least we got one. That's disgusting. Alex Hall makes shifties look way too easy. If you break this clip down, it's ridiculous. So you can see he sets a cork five, but once he hits that 360 degree rotation, he's at 360, right? His head is looking forward, but his skis are still at 180. So what is he gonna do? Well, he's gonna whip them around a rubber duck. Look at that, that's insane. Is this who I missed it? Sarah Hoff, yeah. She was actually studying for a neuroscience degree and then was like, bro, I actually wanna start skiing. And this was in her mid twenties. She went on to win the Olympic gold. Like, excuse me, I wish I could do something like that. James Woods, coming out of the UK, massive front. He tosses up the big flat spin 540 there, locking in the Japan grab. So sick. Nico, I haven't actually heard of this guy either. Going big on the quarters, man. Wow. Ooh. If you didn't make it over there, say goodbye to your tibula, buddy. She's gone. Like the camera will make you complacent to the absolute gnar that you're watching. But what he's doing right here is a tad bit dangerous and a tad bit scary. That is huge, man. Tweaking out the safety. And then goes for the underflip as well. Follows him up, bio 900, kicks out the high up safety and then goes for the stale out. So tight. Ralph, whoa, whoa, there. Dude, I haven't heard of this guy either, but that is the biggest frontside 630 I have ever witnessed. Watch him just float it out. Just having a time up there, dude. So sick. Double cork 1440, locking in trail and blunt. That's two flips, four full rotations. Such a heavy trick, dude. Oh. That is one of the most patient screaming Siemens I've ever witnessed. Screaming semen and skiing is when you take your ski, pump it over the other ski. If you do land uncrossed, you can say goodbye to your entire body. Your entire body will explode. But usually when people do this trick, man, they want to untwine themselves as soon as possible because they don't want to die. He, he just keeps it there. Look at him pause. Ah. Oh. Tossing it with a massive 542. Quan coming out, buttering up the whole entire wall. Say goodbye to your half and half coffee cream, dude. He's coming out with some lard, man. Huge butter. Switch bio 1080, locking in the octo grab. One of my favorite things to see in a switch bio or a switch misty is an octo, dude. 
They just look so good. Super patient set at 360, grabs the Octo and then unwinds for that 1080 rotation, dude. Let's not forget he also did a triple front flip at X Games Big Air. Massive flat 540 dub Japan grab there. So nice to see. Whoa, Matilda. Dude, but did we only get one clip as well? This woman right here, man. First lady to ever stomp. A switch double cork 1440. Oh, uh, yeah. Air exited my body saying that because it's just absolutely righteous. David Wise, you animal. That could go wrong so quickly. Even if you pop just a little bit. Look how, look how close this ski is. Dude, if that ski caught, you could just say goodbye to every bodily function you know. You would die. He has two Olympic Super Pipe gold medals, and there's only ever been two Super Pipe events in Olympic. It's Antoine Adelis, the absolute pre-grab nose cane. No way, did I have... I have goosebumps from that one. That is the gnarly one... I, I don't want to say it, but that is one of the gnarliest things I've ever seen. Dude, he is doing a double backflip while grazing his meniscus the entire time. Woo! Meniscus grazing. Dude, that's insane. Needless to say, he also did a switch double cork 10 and debatably a switch cork 1 pre-nosing on his nostril. Or pre-grabbing his nostril, I should say. Oh, man. I can't keep my emotions contained. Really appreciate his ability to pre-grab off the lip. He's one of the very few people that can actually do some of this stuff for a good reason, man. When you go off a jump grabbing your ski already, you can't use your arms to gain any momentum, and you basically limit yourself to no pop. That is a recipe for utter disaster, but not for him because he can do two flips and three full rotations. Also, I think he did a, I think he did at X Games Big Air a triple cork 1440 or 1620, doing a pre-grab nose as well. Does the quarter to quarter gap, huge mute tweak with it. Maggie, heavily decorated athlete. Lot of X Games medals to her name. Oh, big cork nine there, so sick. This goes to show you don't need to do like massive rotations. You don't need to be doing 1620s to impress your friends, dude. You can just toss a low 540 with a really tight and tweaked blunt. This may look so steezy, man. Look at this. Pops switch 180, tail tap, gets the 360 out. Double cork 1080, locking in mute, takes it to Japan. So sick. Henner Carlo, he's been coming to Audi 9s since 2009, brother. Bio 900, 810 out of the rail, locking in blunt as well. That's insane. You can think of an 810 out of a rail as essentially a 720 with that extra added 90 to get yourself forward. Fabi and Bosch, dude, back from his injury. So sick to see him back on skis here. He was out for quite a few weeks, man. But look at that. Rodeo 7 grabbing both of his nostrils, just yanking them into the stratosphere. To have the air control to not only toss a Rodeo 7, but contort your body to grab both noses at the same time is ridiculous. Cork 3. Tom, stop it. You're going to hurt yourself. Again, if you pop just a little bit more than you meant to, you could be rocking your dome on top of that dome. Okay, this guy. Wow, that's going to be a switch fronty with a Japan grab. Switch front flips are debatably the most blind trick you can toss on a pair of skis. All you see is your knees. This guy was in Russia about a month ago. He was competing at junior champs. He had three booters in front of him. So he decided, hey, well, I'm gonna toss a really kind of steezy backflip slash flat three on the first one. Well, then I'm gonna toss a 180 on the next one. I'm gonna do a 180 off a jump in a junior championship. But then I'll show the judges up. I'll show them up because I'm just gonna toss a switch quad. A switch quad on the last one. He tossed a switch quad in a slope style comp. And yeah, that, that is a first. That was that was a world's first. Absolutely insane. Switch fronty up on the step up, holding Japan. Stop. Switch dub fronty. That's insane. Look where his head is. Like you literally have no idea where you are in the air. That's insane. He put it to his feet. On a step up as well. That is so sketchy. That is beautiful. He just has his hood on. He's got to keep the ears a little bit warm, keeping the lobes nice and toasty. Other than that, dude, it's like, yeah, I can just toss a triple backflip. This is so wild. 
where skiing has gone. He's only 17 years of age. Where's he gonna be in the next three, five years, brother? Jasper Schotter coming out of the gate, big kangaroo flip. So a kangaroo flip in skiing is a double flat spin 900. Oh, locking in the Japan grab as well. Big 540 over the dome, getting the hand drag, sending it deep. Look, he finished the rotation. He still has like six, eight feet of air left, man. Oh my goodness. Gee whiz. Back 1170 out of the rail, dude. You can think of that as like a 1080 out of the rail. So three full rotations, but adding that extra 90 degrees to pull it to switch. Oh, wow. I'm going to show you guys one more time. I'm going to show you one more time, but we're just moving on. We cannot, dude, I don't even, I don't even want to think about how that's possible. That's insane. He's capping blunt so heavily that his, his elbow is almost capping blunt. Double cork 1260, but please pay attention to how he tweaks this mute. I'm seeing this a lot more recently and it's getting me really excited. So he grabs trail and mute there. He tweaks it back, but then tweaks it forward. You see how he pops his knees out right before landing the rotation? Right there. Pop. So steezy, brother. Oh. Oh. Yo, dude. It's like a pencil double flat spin 720, but on the second flip, he just tosses his legs out to the side. That is so sick oh man oh wow and then sends a double fronty over it sure even goes for the little superman extension as well just to add a little bit of style on it i can't i wow i i can't i can't figure any of this out i do not understand how can, listen to me, how can these boots and these pieces of material enable such madness? Undecipherable insanity. That's, uh, that's what this was. Dude, massive thank you to everyone who lent a helping hand in making Audi 9s actually happen this year. The Audi 9's YouTube channel is going to be posting a bunch of exclusive and new content from the event over the next couple weeks. Make sure you head over to their YouTube channel to stay up to date with current events there brother other than that boys you know i love you and you know the good good lord good lord there rubber ducky he loves you okay we'll uh we'll see you in the next one